Good evening from Istanbul. This is Osman Sayat Karaman. Uh, I'm manager of Digital Space Asana Archive and Resource Space at Sabancı Museum. I'm happy to participate in this webinar and my presentation entitled Non-Technical Challenges of Preserving uh, VR Artworks. Uh, on September 18, uh, we had an artist talk with artist Memo Akhtan uh, as part of the Technological Arts Preservation Project, which is co-organized by the Sabancı Museum and Sabancı University and partnership with Digidoc. Uh, during this talk, uh, we focused on the artist VR based artwork titled Fight and delineated the central points which would ensure that the artwork remains exhibitable in the future. In my talk, uh, I would like to depart from this conservation and delve into the non-technical difficulties of preserving this type of new media artworks. Later on, uh, I would like to explore the following questions. Can the impact of an artwork be conserved, considering it has been technically conserved just as it was? How can we conserve the historicity of VR artworks? and what should we take into account during documentation. Firstly, uh, I would like to explain this artwork, what it is, what is and to present artist motivations behind this work. Uh, with uh, Memo Akhtan's words, fight is a virtual reality artwork where the viewer's two eyes are presented with radically different images resulting in a phenomenon known as binocular rivalry. The conscious mind does not see both images, but unpredictably alternates between them with unstable patch transitions, depending on the viewer's physiology. Even though everybody is presented with the same imagery, your conscious visual experience will be different to mine. I cannot see what you see. You cannot see what I see and what we both see is different to what is actually presented. We are all unable to fully perceive the real reality before us. At this point, uh, I would like to especially draw your attention to motivation fourth. Artist Memo says that I'm interested in these ideas at a low level regarding our senses particular revision and perception, but also conceptually at a higher level regarding how we make meaning and what we consider to be truth. Our biases and prejudices, how we interact with each other as a result of this and its impact on society and politics, especially it seems right now our societies are torn more than ever, at least within my almost half a century of existence and this gaping won't seem to me to partially the result of clear inability and refusal to see the world from other peoples. Please keep in mind that fights born as a reaction to polarizations in the world. What do we preserve? Fight is an installation and now you can see on this slide this display is very important for the artist the artist accepts the technological adaptation in the future but does not want this display to disappear because this installation is fully about perception lighting plants music and of course the sofa serve the serve this perception we have to preserve the sense but this is not limited with the display. Also, this is related with the world we live, in, we live in and our time, our level of technology, culture, etc. I would like to remind you that fight was born as a reaction to polarizations in the world. Finally, I would like to explain our results this, at this interview. We can succeed to preserve the VR artworks, new media artworks of the materials, technically just as it, as it was, but this not mean we can preserve the impact or sense of them just as it was. VR artworks reflect their own time as technological, cultural, political, etc. Therefore, we need to think of how we can 
preserve the secret of time. And we should take into account during documentation, contextualize. Thank you. Great, thank you, Osman. Um, I, I immediately have a question. I wondered if you could talk a bit more about the kinds of documentation um, that you would produce to ensure that context is captured. Sorry, I can't hear clearly. Oh, sorry. I have, I have technical problems, I think. Okay, shall I ask again? I'll try, I'll try again to see if you can hear. Um, but I was just asking whether you um, whether you could talk more about the kinds of documentation that you would produce to capture this context. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, uh, what is the meaning of artwork and the artwork? Mm -hmm. we, we can preserve the you know, technical requirements or exhibition display requirements, but the preserving or mm, we should take into account the green documentation. We need to know uh, the time of the artworks, uh, technological, um, political or cultural. For example, uh, Adop, as you know, Adop will announce that uh, Flash will die at the end of this year. And 20 or 30 years later, uh, we can keep him alive, these actors work with Flash. But if we do not know uh, technological background, why artists use the flash? What is the uh, uh, need uh, using this technology? This um, technology, uh, if do not this culture, technology, uh, technological culture, uh, yeah. we, we do not preserve truly the artworks. I mean. Yeah, I think it's a problem that that we're all facing in 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 attempting to conserve these kinds of works. I, I totally agree. 